Hello friends. Uh, today we're going to be exploring a new plugin that's recently been released by Google Scholar. That's called uh, Google Scholar PDF Reader. So it's a very good plugin that you can add into your Google Chrome browser, which is going to be very handy for researchers who day in and day out read PDFs. So if you read PDFs, uh, like peer reviewed papers or books or any other such PDF document, then this particular plugin is going to be very useful to you. So without making much ado, let's get into it that how do we get it? So just simply go on to your Google search bar and uh, search Google Scholar PDF Reader as I've done over here. And then just open this window, you will get onto the, this second window wherein you can simply go and add that plugin to your Chrome browser because I've already added it. So that's the reason for me it shows that remove for Chrome. Otherwise, I would also have an option to add in. But anyways, in my browser, it's already added. So once you add this browser, what it does, it kind of changes the way you read PDF. So as of now, you would be reading PDF through any PDF reader which will give you experience like this, where you suppose this is an example PDF paper that I've just opened. It's talking about impact of osteoarthritis. As you see, like in a typical paper, there are certain citations that are in the form of numbers. You obviously can't find out what this citation is. So if you want to find out, you have to go to the bottom of the paper in the end, in the reference, and then find out what six number citation is. Or like, for example, what 14 number citation is. Similarly, in the paper, if you have something like this where it's written that in table one provides this particular detail so for you to know or to see the table one you have to go and scroll down the paper and see where is table one whereas if you will use the google uh, plugin that we're talking about you can directly go to this table just by clicking over here i'll show you how it works so i've just opened a same paper on this browser how do you open it? You simply drag the PDF and just drop it over there in your Google browser and it will open. You see what it has done. It has created a kind of table of content for this entire paper, automatically listing all the headings that are there in this paper, starting with clinical classification over here and then different subheadings it has created. So this also gives a very, this is also a very good functionality for you to have an overall look and feel of your document or paper that what it is talking about what are the different sections maybe if you're interested in a particular section you simply jump onto that just like this and uh, apart from this if you'll see you might have noticed already that all the references are now are now linked as you simply just go and click over here and you see it will show you the reference and if you want you can just simply right click and open it in a new window or you simply can save it in your Google Scholar library or you can export the citation just by clicking on there. So this is a very good way of um, uh, sort of a reading paper and developing your own document where you want to use a particular citation which is saying the same thing as you want to say in your paper. You simply go and do it. Whether, otherwise, the typical older method, you go to the bottom of the paper and then find out what that citation is all about. So this is a good functionality. Other one is which I just mentioned that mentions like table one, figure one. These are linked as you can see over table one. I'll click it will take directly to table one. Similarly, figure one. That's where figure one is. If I click on table one, it'll take me table one. And if there's like any other figure or you see figure three. And there was figure four as well. So let's see if it takes to yeah. So if you click, it'll take you to figure four. So all in all, I think that this is a good plugin and um, for researchers and people who read PDFs and sort of develop documents using read, reading uh, other such PDFs, paper peer reviewed papers or books or any other such document. So I suggest you give it a try, download it, install it in your Google browser, and start using it and exploring it. Uh, Overall, I found it good. There's one thing that is that could have been improved is that it doesn't give you a functionality of uh, 
highlighting the PDF the way you can actually go and highlight a PDF like I've done over here for example this is what I'm talking about you can simply go and highlight a PDF in a normal PDF viewer like Acrobat Reader and all whereas in this plugin that's the functionality which is not there so and this is a comment that I gave while rating this and after that I've observed other people are also commenting the same thing and they are also missing this functionality but maybe in future they might come up with this so let's uh, let's uh, see sorry for the disturbance how Google improves it over time anyways so I'll sign off as of uh, for for now and uh, wish you good luck with your research search and I'll come back with something else which might be useful to you Till then, goodbye. Thank you.